queen of the house. Please welcome to the stage, Vicky Lynn! Alright, so um, I'm a little exhausted, I'm a little tired. I haven't stopped moving since March 29th, I believe it is. I've been on the move. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I... Okay, you're taking though, right? Alright, so I've been on the move since March 29th. I haven't sat still. I've been going out to um, Chicago, doing open mics and... And comedy contest. Don't clap. I was so intimidated. I was so intimidated. Aww. I know y'all don't scare me. So, the one thing I noticed about Chicago was the men. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but there are some sexy men in Chicago, and what? comedy already makes my panties fall off, but <laughs> oh my god, if you sexy and funny, I just, man, like Bruce Almighty, <laughs> clothes just gone. So, I had to talk my coochie down off the ledge because it was going to commit whole suicide. So, I had to... You know, I have a conversation with my coochie, and, and don't take this personally, but I don't want to stare in the air. So I'm just going to pretend I'm talking to my coochie right now, okay? So I'll, my coochie's on the ledge, and I'm like, coochie, no. You have so much to live for. Don't do it. If you commit whole suicide, you'll go to whole hell. You don't want to go to whole hell. The tunnel probably has herpes bumps and gonorrhea is standing there with a cape on and nothing else and his, his penis looks like a split cigar or something. <laughs> They're probably fully formed babies crawling out of used condoms and I know, right? And R. Kelly is peeing on little girls at the abortion clinic. Don't do it. I don't know. I'm just saying, Coochie, come down. Don't do it. I know you've been through so, 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 so much, Coochie. But you can get through this. I know. We'll go buy batteries. You want to go get batteries, Coochie? We'll go get batteries. Yes, the good ones this time. Yes, with the bunny. Yes, for the rabbit. Yes, yes, we'll go. We'll walk down by the Rock River so you can feel better about your own odor. Come on, we can do this. Coochie, just get down and we'll go back to Wisconsin where you're safe. <laughs> All right, come on, Coochie. So yeah, that was my conversation with my Coochie. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> she looks nothing like my Coochie. <laughs> she doesn't have a beard. I should have went to one of the men. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. I also apologize for this. Um, my good bras were in the dryer, so get them white can. And um, I am going to talk about my kids tonight. Somebody seems to think that I have the worst kids in the world. Just the girl. But I was reminded of a story, a couple stories about my kids when they were little and I actually still like them. Um, my daughter comes in and she was like, Mom, the teacher talked to us about stranger danger today. And I'm like, well, that's good. She was like, yeah, she told us if um, there's a lot of ways to get away if you're getting kidnapped. And I was like, well, that's good. Thank, thank Miss Owens for that. And she was like, yeah, she told us the best story she ever heard was a little girl was getting kidnapped and she faked fainting. She faked fainted so that people would know she was getting kidnapped. So I become an advocate against Miss Owens now because you want my daughter to make it easier for herself to get kidnapped by playing dead. All right, first off, you don't listen to that bitch because she is not Miss Owens anymore. She is a bitch. <laughs> This is the one time I give you permission, she was six years old, I give you permission to cuss. 
If someone is looking at you like you and your brothers look at me when I'm scooping ice cream out, you automatically start screaming. If they actually get you within arm's reach, I give you permission to sound like Samuel L. Jackson in every movie he has ever been in. This motherfucker is not my daddy. I don't know this motherfucker. I give you permission to do that. That's my baby. She was. So, then there's a story about my son, and then I'm gonna get off here. I was once upon a time a good mother, you know. They had just got here, so, you know, they were real clingy and needy. But my son, I used to um, do these little games in the van, you know, math games and reading games, you know, make them compete for my love and stuff. So we're playing the rhyming game, the word rhyming game, and I would say a word like, all right, everybody give me a word that rhymes with late. And my oldest, he was like, mate. My daughter was like, uh, wait. And my second in command says, masturbate. <laughs> Mind you, I'm driving down the street. But, you know, I'm, I'm a free thinking parent. I, I believe in kids expressing themselves, you know. If they can take a punch, they can express themselves all they want. So when he says that, I was like, well, honey, do you know what that means? And they all start giggling, which means yes. He's like, no. He's like, well, mommy's going to tell you. Masturbate is when you play with your wee-wee. And out of the back, I hear my two-year-old say, then I masturbate all the time. <laughs> I had to pull over in traffic as to not kill us all. <laughs> I know, those are my kids, those are my babies. And I told my daughter I was going to say something nice about her tonight because she was like, Mom, you're always telling people you're going to punch me in the face. No, I'm telling you I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Ain't nobody called social services yet. So that is not my problem. Somebody call social services, really, before she turns 18. My name is Vicki Lynn. You can find me at Vicki Lynn's Cult anywhere on the internet. Thank you guys for listening to me.